What's up, everybody? Today is Sunday. The Mickey's Picky Show is doing homemade my gut. So here I have the actual batter for the uh, mana gut shells. So in here we have two cups of flour. We have approximately two tablespoons of salt. Um, you want the consistency to be a little thinner than a pancake batter. So I, whatever preferences that you want to use. Um, and there's also eggs, um, 12 eggs. So you want, like I said, you can have it thick, you can have it thin, whatever you want, but we prefer it thin. And I'm gonna go over to the oven and I'm gonna show you exactly how we put it on the skillet and how the actual Monogut shell comes out. All right, so we're here at the oven right now. We have a non-stick skillet. You wanna have the skillet on low to low medium heat. Um, I have a couple here made already, but I'm gonna show you what to do. So here we have a ladle. You wanna get your ladle. And then with that ladle, you wanna spread it around as big as you want to get it. Once your um, batter is on the actual skillet, it really doesn't take that long to cook. It's almost, again, like a pancake. So when you have the non-skill stick, I made this one a little bit big, but that's okay. I'm gonna get it off and I'm gonna give it a turn. And there you have it. Let that side cook a couple seconds. And then there's your crepe, your monogut shell, so to speak. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to continue to keep making these shells and then I'm going to show you how we put the actual monogut together with the regatta, the cheese, the grated cheese, parsley, and things like that. And uh, we'll put it all together for you. All right? And then that shell is finished. If it breaks off, it don't matter. You can tuck it in. do one more here we're going to show you here's our mixture you're going to get remember that piece that broke off I said I uh, really can't see it so you're going to put the mixture in the middle let me move this tray out of the way so you can see we're going to tuck that in like that we're going to go over we're going to pull it back and we're going to roll and we're going to roll again so basically almost two full rolls. And then you're gonna lay in the bottom of the tray with the gravy sauce, put it on top, a little more grated cheese on top, and there you have it. Um, I want everybody to please, if you could like and share the video. If you can also, um, on the YouTube channel, Subscribe to Nikki's Picky's YouTube channel, and there'll be the actual recipe on there. Subscribe, like, and share that if you like, and more videos to come. Thanks. All right. We have the shell. We have them in, inside, made on the bottom of the pan. After we make the, all the shells and everything, you're gonna bake it in the oven at 350, anywhere from half hour to 45 minutes. <clears throat> all right, so all of our Monogut shells are all made now. 
and now it's time to fill them. So, what we're going to do is, in the back I got a nice big pot of gravy, fresh, some say sauce, some say gravy. At the bottom of the pan, you want to put it like that, mix it around, get it all evenly on the bottom. Do that to each pan. I believe Nikki's Pickies during this time, and maybe for good, I'm still trying to make a decision if I want to do some catering. Um, it'll, it'll be a set menu for the week, and uh, we'll let you know on that. All right, so here, get your monogut shell. Get a spoon. Spread it around. You're going to fold it over. Bring it back. Roll, roll, and there you have it. You're going to put the, the side where you rolled flat down. I have a couple here made. Let's just do it one more time. Here's the shell. And now in the regut mixture, we have... Grated cheese, whole milk regatta, parsley, salt, white pepper, uh, three eggs, and our season, our nice, nice season, which is 